that's something that Borelli Le Guin does uh, quite often, particularly in his early years. And it's uh, quite a nice exercise for both the uh, left and right hands, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, so it's uh, over the chords of uh, E minor, A minor, and B7. And then going back to E minor again. Um, so basically the first part follows um, essentially just a basic E minor arpeggio. Except it adds in that major 7 uh, note there. So it goes. Um, and the picking direction for it is down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Um, it also has a quite nice little symmetry in that you're using your second and first fingers in the same sort of positions, just shifting them as it goes past. So. So the whole thing lies pretty nicely on the guitar. Um, enabling you to get up quite a nice bit of speed with it. Um, well, not personally, because I can't play fast, but um, for those of you with a propensity for fast playing. So the second part, uh, which is in A minor, is exactly the same uh, pattern as that first bit. So, um, of course, you haven't got the open string to start on, so you start on the A with your first finger, and then it's exactly the same. So that same picking pattern, which is down, up, down, down, So, so far we have the E minor, A minor, uh, now the third section is in B7, so you start on the B note, but it's kind of like a diminished chord, so you're actually playing a, um, a C diminished arpeggio, except starting on a B note instead. So basically you miss out that C, so... So the picking for that is down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up. And that goes over B7. And then finally the E minor um, again starts on this E here um, and it's just a straightforward E minor arpeggio. The tricky bit with this part is that you have to shift your first finger once you get to the G string like this. So. Picking directions for these are down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And that is basically it. notation and the tab on my website which is timrobinsonguitar.com